Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the BEA Panther number 10 EMR6L. This is a wireless push button, is what it is. And one thing I like about the Panther is they're really just uh, all completely enclosed, single stop, single shop type item, meaning it's complete. It's a complete wireless transmitter. Okay. The wireless transmitter is buried down in the assembly here. And buried in the part number, at least the 6L, is going to be the exact configuration of the plate, meaning that the L is going to give you the hand handicap symbol. Uh, first of all, this is a 6 inch diameter wireless push plate. That plate is made of stainless steel. A little shy on six inches you can see. All stainless. Sixteenth of an inch thick is what they're saying. And it's heavy. This The entire unit weighs 1.46 pounds. So basically a pound and a half. Blue colored ADA logo engraving only. And we'll get to defining that in a moment. Weather resistant NEMA 4 rated devices which allows them to be installed in any pedestrian or industrial environment. Capable of being surface mounted, ideal for concrete walls and other applications where it may be difficult to mount a standard push plate. Includes an integrated 433 megahertz tr wireless transmitter, completely eliminates the need to run power and or relay wires. Includes concealed fasteners to minimize vandalism. We'll go over that in a moment. Uh, the screw package. Built-in box eliminates the need for additional hardware accessories. And the housing can be directly installed onto any flat surface using the uh, screws provided. Uh, understanding that you might need to do something in addition to what's been provided. There's a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure, and it will cover everything that we've just said, but will also tell you on page two the different part numbers as the size and shape and printed information on the face of the plate changes. For instance, you can see in the top two rows of that table how the part number changes as the face of the push plate changes. Okay. You might need the ADA symbology, but you also might need the engraved letters. So it's all there for your choosing. The first row are the three versions of the six inch. There are three versions of the four and three quarter round. And then there are three versions of the four and three quarter square style. And I think what BEA has done with making this basically a one stop shop in terms of giving you everything you need. And all you really need to do is mount it and then program it. Um, which is super easy. Um, I, I would only use the Panther <laughs> in, uh, in, in, in my type of installations. Uh, dimensional properties are also there on page two. You can see that the depth of the surface mount box, about an inch and a sixteenth, and you see they're coming up with more of that because you're going to have the naturally the plate that all this is going to mount down to as well. And the installation instructions talk about how this all snaps together. Okay. Literally gets to a point where it then just clicks down. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have to force it apart. Although, the installation instructions do indicate you can mount it with or without the mounting plate, which you certainly can. Um, you know, it identifies this end up, this end up. So when you put the plate down to the wall, if you want to install it that way, this is literally just going to going to look like this. And then all I'm going to do is push that down and it will click in place and then detaching it 
is done via an access hole here where you will depress the release trigger back here, which is how that's going to come apart again. Okay. Super simple and easy. Uh, so anyway, the point is, is if you're installing it with the mounting and then adding the push plate onto the front of the unit, you're going to get to basically one and seven sixteenths of an inch thick uh, thickness from the total projection from the wall. Uh, these are, this is 433 uh, megahertz. There is a link below this video to the installation instructions and uh, the battery uh, is included. It is a 12 volt battery. A23 is the type of battery that's required for this and it can be changed and the battery installation or change instructions are mentioned in the installation instructions. And that battery changing procedure is basically uh, simply removing these four screws where you're going to get to the transmitter assembly and the battery is inside of there uh, and just replace it with a new 12 volt A23 battery. Uh, there is then the receiver setup. Very easy. What you do is you basically on your receiver, your 10RD433 receiver, and obviously must be uh, 433 megahertz on the receiver as well. Uh, you'll press the learn button and I believe the learn button will stay illuminated. The installation instructions. Uh, on, the, on the receiver press the learn button once. The yellow LED will illuminate. Within 20 seconds push the plate, push the plate and the yellow LED will go out push the plate a second time then it will flash for two seconds and then finally push it a third time the yellow LED will flash and the red LED will illuminate for the length of time set by the dip switch which is on your receiver. Um, clearing the memory is holding the learn button for more than 10 seconds and any other information you have you would just refer to the installation instructions for the receiver but that's uh, simply all you're dealing with in that regard. That plate's going to make, and obviously this foam does literally get removed and you're just, that plate's going to make contact with everything here and the snap-on procedure of the plate going onto the housing is just so simple. It just gets on and you push it down and you know that's what's really so great about it. if I were to snap that closed it's going to be a done deal at that point okay and prying that off or popping that off is it just simply reversing the procedure now depressing the uh, release tool above is for of course removing the plate not the housing off the mounting plate and that's just simply going to snap that down where you'll be able to tip your plate out and uh, do the same on the other side in order to get that plate removed because you will you will need to at some point when the battery needs to be changed okay now uh, link below this video to the installation instructions are there and let's see what else we have to, to uh, go over regarding this panther plate Now you'll also notice that you can do this in the um, 900 megahertz version as well and that part number will simply change as, by adding the 900 megahertz uh, to it as well. So you can do it in either way. Simple, concise, and straightforward. That is a hallmark of the BEA line. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the BEA products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the BEA Panther, this is their part number 10 EMR6L, or any other BEA product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.